This is another video in the Autorig Pro rigging series. In the previous video I showed how to rig a T-Rex and in this one I'll be demonstrating on this Triceratops and based on these two examples of the T-Rex and Triceratops I believe you'll be able to rig most of the other types of dinosaurs. A little bit later in the video I'll show you how you can use almost the same bone setup as for the Triceratops to rig something like a Brontosaurus. Also elephants, rhinos and other huge quadrupeds will work in a similar way. This model doesn't have an eye, but I won't be rigging the face. We already have examples in the series about rigging animal faces, uh, so you can watch the T-Rex video for that or the Fox one. Okay, let's go. Let's go to ARP. And as we do in these advanced chapters, I'll start from an empty armature. The root bones are quite small for this large dinosaur, so let's go to edit shape. Make this root much larger and apply shape. And the other one, edit shape make it larger, apply shape. That is just a visual thing. Let's go to edit reference bones, add a spine and switch the definition to multiped. Switching to multiped is important for horizontal spines. So even though this dinosaur is pretty big, I think three spine bones will be fine because it is not particularly flexible. But you can expand the limb options and change to four, for example. I'll keep it to three. Next, I'll add a tail. Here, I'm going to need more subdivisions, so go to limb options, and let's give it a count of eight. Next, I'll add a head. Select the head bone, go to limb options, and disable facial. Now I'm going to align it with um, where I believe the point of rotation would be and also align the neck. And I guess I can align the head like this with the length of the head. Let's take care of the legs next. I'll add leg left, go to its options and disable all of the toes. Even though the Triceratops has some sort of toes, they are rather rigid, so if you need the flexibility here, you can rig them. But I'm going to focus on the big shapes only. If we look at the anatomy of the Triceratops, they have a large scapula-like bone. Upper leg, lower leg, foot bone and toe bone. So that's five bones and in our default leg we have four. So let's go to edit mode, select this bone, limb options, and enable three bone leg. And that will give us one more additional bone. Align it roughly, scale it up. And so this first bone will become the scapula bone. Then upper leg, lower leg. The foot bone will be around here. And then the toe bone, the last bone, align it with the end of the toes and that will allow a rotation around this point here i'm going to try to demonstrate it a bit later in the video these bones place at the heel and also spread them out so that they cover the whole sole of the foot make sure things look good from all directions Turning off in front can help you see where the bones are in reality. So this bone is a little bit outside and I have to push it inside the model. Okay, I'll parent this bone to the spine bone and then I can duplicate mirror. Then I'll select this bone and duplicate it and align it with the rear leg. If we take a look at the anatomy, we have one, two, three, four bones. So in this case, we don't need a three bone leg. I'll remove it. Align this with the upper leg. This will be the knee here. And the foot and toes are looking good. And of course, also align the leg in all views. Shift H to focus just on this leg. Okay. 
Okay, old age, parent this bone to the spine, duplicate mirror, and our basic Triceratops rig is done. I'm going to match the rig, select the model, shift select the rig, go to skin, disable or preserve volume, and click bind. And things are almost working. Looks like I forgot to parent the head to the spine. Let's edit the reference bones and parent the neck to the spine. Keep offset, match the rig. You can call this done if you want. Personally, I would do a couple of simple rig adjustments. If I select this leg and go to tool, when I move this leg or rotate it, you can flip it really easily. So if you disable snap pole parent, this won't happen anymore. And also I would set 3-bone IK to something like 0.1 or 0.2. And that will give a little bit of movement here in the scapula when I move the IK bone. So I have to do the same for the other leg. Again, if you wanted to, you could add face bones, just like we did for the T-Rex. And you may have to do some uh, weight painting. This one actually looks almost perfect, but if for example, parts of the skull are deforming uh, instead of being rigid. You can go here to the deforming bones, select your rig, shift select the mesh, go to weight paint mode, control click on a bone, and then start painting. Before that, go to options and enable auto normalize. And if the mesh is symmetrical, enable these mirror settings here exactly like this. And then you can start painting. This way I'm adding weights. Another technique is to subtract weights. For example, if I select this, affecting the skin a little bit is fine, but uh, it goes too much. So you can switch to subtract, maybe reduce the strength a little bit and start removing the influence from the skin. And then you can blur it a little bit as well. You can see that this uh, leg bone is influencing the body too much. So subtract, blur, and of course you have to keep testing the deformations. For example, here I can see that the rear leg is affecting the belly too much. So I'll try to remove these influences. Okay. And personally, I will call this Triceratops rig done. Next, I'll create a very similar rig for this Brachiosaurus. You'll see that rigging the body is almost identical. And I'm going to show you a little trick how to rig these long necks and tails. So let's go to ARP, empty armature, multiped, and add a spine. This dinosaur is huge, so let's give it more spine subdivision, something like this. I'll add a left leg, disable the toes, and enable three bone leg. Scale it up. And if we look at the anatomy, you'll see that it's not that different from the Triceratops. We have the big scapula, upper leg, lower leg, foot, and toes. So these five bones that we get with the three bone legs should work just fine. Make sure that this joint is bending in this direction. And the foot and toe I'll align something like this. And now let's align them in the front view. Parent the leg to the closest spine bone and duplicate mirror. Duplicate it, move it to the back, limb options and remove three bone leg. And then align it with the back leg. And parent to the spine. Then duplicate mirror. 
Now to the tail trick. I can add a tail and you know scale it so that it is as long as the actual tail. I can give it additional subdivisions and that's nice but when you generate it you only have this special control for the tail otherwise it's just a simple fk chain. So here is what you could do. Go to edit reference bones set the count to three or so and scale it down so that it covers about let's say one third of this tail then duplicate it and move it and cover another one third of the tail and parent this tailbone to this last tailbone of the first tail and then duplicate once more and cover the rest of the tail and parent this to this and this will give us a chain of three tails which when you generate you can control like this you can you know use this first control then the second control then the third control and that will allow you to create more complex bending of the tail if you need to so you can chain as many tail bones as you want and you can do something similar for the head so i'm going to add the head and get rid of the face bones align the head bone and then for the neck again you can give it some subdivisions and i think the neck of the brachiosaurus is not that flexible so you can easily cover this whole area with these bones give it more subdivisions and that should work However, if you want similar flexibility, like in the tail, you can reduce the number of neck bones and let them cover just the end of the neck. And then for the rest of the neck, you could use additional heads like this. Disable facial. Give the neck more subdivisions. and parent the first neck to the second head. And if you match the rig, you'll have a chain of necks. But this gives you this additional head that we don't really need. So instead of the head and neck, I can disable this and I can use another tail. So add tail, give it three subdivisions and orient it like this and place it inside the neck. Okay, then I'll parent it to the spine, duplicate it, and cover the rest of the neck, and parent. I can match the rig, go to skin, and bind. I'll probably increase the three bones IK value a little bit. And that will be the basic Brachiosaurus rig.